Mm -hmm. Hey, friends, family, people who want to see me, <laughs> encourage me. Thanks for com thanks for dropping in on my weekly weigh in, which is a day late, but I have a good excuse. We went whale watching yesterday. Man, that was exciting. And so the picture that's on the thumbnail is from yesterday. So um, hopefully I'll make this pretty brief because there's not a whole lot. And uh, of course, like everyone else, I have a lot on my agenda, so I don't want to keep you either. Um, so I just want to talk about my update and I want to share somebody else's story. I'm going to a person that I've been talking to. Uh, they got a great story anyway. So um, to start with, um, things have been going well. As you know, if you've been watching, um, I had a fall off for the practically the whole month of July while I was while I was on vacation. I went to Michigan. I went to North Carolina, and you know, I thought mm -mm, I got this. I could, uh, yeah, right. Mm, just when you think you got this, yeah. Life tells you different. So um, I started one day with a little bit of carbs, the next day a little bit more, and they call it the carb creep. Oh, yeah, it crept up on me and it snatched me. And I had all kinds of nasty side effects, including my wrists, which is getting so much better. Um, so I feel like I'm back on track because I was basically holed up in at home, not doing a whole lot. Oh, did I introduce myself? My name is Sandra, and this is Carnivore Over 60 Weigh-In, Weigh-In number 21. I've been doing carnivore or ketovore because I have more than, I don't know, any given day. This last week has been zero carbs, but in any given day, it could be five carbs because I eat a pickle um, to 10 carbs. I usually don't go over 10. And once or twice, I've gone up to 20 carbs. So, um Anyway, so back to what we were talking about. So um, it's been, I've, I've, this, this week has been, the last couple of weeks, I've kind of been just holed up in the apartment because I just really wanted to, to focus. And I've, I've been out a couple of times with friends, but not like it, it, I like it to be. I haven't been gone out like I really like it to be. So now I'm getting more active and it feels a little better, but I feel a little more in control. So we'll see. Um, we'll just see, you know, it's just, I, I'm learning. You, you can't be judgmental because um, except for the grace of God, there go I, right? Isn't that the quote? Something like that. Anyway, so I am down three pounds this week, which is really good. A little more than I like, but I'll take it. Um, cause I like to stay within, you know, under two, two and a half pounds per week is probably healthy, but what the heck three, who cares, which makes me, uh, um, down this year, 28.4. So I have a lot to go for the remainder of the year. And I feel confident that we are going to get there cause I'm back on track this time. I feel a little bit different commitment. So I think that you, you will be proud. And you may get to have some encouragement for yourself because I definitely fell off the wagon. Anyway, I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about somebody else. And I, I put my notes on them because I'm weird like that. But anyway, um, I want to talk about a person who gives me permission to share his story. Um, he reached out to me and said, I'm really encouraged by what you're doing. And I like to do it too, because uh, I've been trying to lose weight like forever. And so I said, okay. So I'm without saying his name or too many uh, details about his situation. I'm just going to talk about some of the things that he experienced while he was going low carb, animal based. And I think he's probably, I want to say, 50, 60 carbs a day. I don't know. It might even, some days might even be under that. He's doing very well. But one of the things that like almost brought me to tears is one of his very first, 
he says, his non-scale victory. And these are not, you know, this is common knowledge for people in his world, like his children, uh, his adult, put it this way, his adult sons, uh, his buddies, um, you know, the people in his circle, his co-workers, um, they know because in Michigan, I'm going to say this in case people want to be judgmental. In Michigan, we, uh, marijuana has been legal on a medicinal level since 2008. And so they, they determined that marijuana is not a class one or class, whatever class drug is not a narcotic. It actually has some medicinal value. So um, he has been on marijuana probably, it seemed like I wrote it down. I just wanted to write this down because I was so encouraged. Probably 30 years, probably 30 years. And so um, it looked like about five weeks into his low carb plan, he lost the taste for marijuana. And he didn't tell me, we, we don't talk that often, but um, when I did talk to him, I was like, hey, how you doing? He says, uh, yeah, I haven't had marijuana in going on three weeks. I was like, what, what do you mean? I, to my knowledge, you like to smoke marijuana, according to what you say. He says, I have not had marijuana for three weeks. And I was like, what do you attribute that to? He said, I just... I lost the taste for it. And he said, my reasoning for wanting to gain better health and get in shape was uh, when I did have a few little cravings, it just, my reasoning kind of, the logic of it took over. So I'm just really, really proud of him. And he's lost about 20 pounds. And it's been since June 14. Uh, I write this down because I want to track how fast people lose weight. And if they happen to have a non-scale victory, I write that down too, because that encourages me on my journey. And so he said, I know um, from experience, like you, you go to the cookout and he's the kind of person who eat his barbecue or eat whatever meal he have. And have to use the bathroom because he had to have a little bit of IBS. So he'd have to use the bathroom like within 30, 45 minutes of eating. And this is every time he ate. So he was basically in the bathroom three or four times a day, pooping. Anyway, his, uh, his bathroom habits have changed to once a day. And... And that's in the morning. He said when he gets up and he has no bloating and no cramping. And even the day I talked to him, he said the day before he went a whole day without having to use the bathroom. And it kind of concerned him until he went the next day and there was no looseness and there was no tightness. So um, he, he's very, very encouraged by that. And I'm proud of him and encouraged as well. I'm sure he's seeing some other non-scale victories that we never had a chance to talk about. But I would like this goes out to him. And I'm going to tell him I talked about you. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm very encouraged and I'm very excited for him. Um, and he asked me, like, what do you eat? I told him, I'm not a medical professional. I can only tell you what I'm doing. If you want to copy it, um, go go for it. Um, but if you don't want to, don't do it. So he had some things in there that I wouldn't eat. Like he had some vegetables. He liked vegetables. He had some vegetables in there. But he was sticking to low glycemic vegetables like green beans and greens uh, I couldn't, those things send me to the bathroom, so I can't, I can't go there, but you know, I, I, there were, have been times when I was like, ah, oh, you might want to lay off that fruit because it has sugar in it. And if you choose, if you're limiting your carbs for a day, like mm, maybe I have a goal. I just want, I don't know, 40, 30 carbs a day. You might not want to consume it all at once. You might want to stretch it out. Like, you know, 
have some low glycemic. Like I love green beans. Even today, I love green beans. And they're vert probably a low glycemic vegetable, but I still won't eat it because my goal is zero carbs. But don't judge. I won't judge you. You don't judge me. But anyway, this goes out to him. And I'm really proud of you. And um, that's it. And I'm never going to stick to five minutes for this, this shout out. But I hope that doesn't deter you. And I hope you can still drop in and offer encouraging words. So love you. Peace. Have a great day. And next week, I hope to be on time. Bye-bye. <laughs>